Hey everybody, welcome back to the Overwatch channel uh, on YouTube, also at overwatchproject.com. Hey, uh, today I just wanted to talk to you about artificial intelligence and the transhumanist movement and really how people can toil away at something ass backward because they want to believe a certain thing and it doesn't matter how smart they are. So you have this uh, artificial intelligent movement and the transhumanist movement and what it really boils down to it when you really get down to the core essence of it is they want to take matter and make it conscious. Uh, the, the thing is though, that is ass backward from the way reality works. Consciousness is what makes matter, at least what we perceive as matter, exist. And there's plenty of science that backs that up, and scientists that, you know, accept that as a as a, a viable theory about how our reality works. And what's really weird is um, with the atheist community out there, they're perfectly willing to accept uh, this matrix computer simulation model reality which you know brings up the question if this is a computer simulation and who's the programmer uh, but um, they can entertain all kinds of theories as long as it doesn't involve the super what they consider to be the supernatural it's quite bizarre quite bizarre but basically uh, the thing about these AI people is they have their they have actually a, a dichotomy and I've mentioned in previous videos how there's like this false dichotomy between the atheist materialist side and the religious side so the religious side has uh, like people like uh, Gons on face like the sun and if you were to go on his channel and search for transhumanism you'll see all these videos because they try to and I did this myself see I gotta I gotta be completely open about this when I was still stuck on one of these false paradigms about reality I was doing this I was falling for all this stuff so you know you gotta try to make the AI stuff and transhumanism fall into the book of Revelation somehow see so that's how that works but in reality the these uh, AI people these transhumanists are simply the new alchemists of today. They have... Um, now, alchemy is a complicated subject, but most people know the very simplest uh, thing about alchemy is that part of it involved converting base metals and to try to... Well, trying to convert element, uh, one element into another element, like lead into gold, etc., or base metals into gold, and of course, um, we know that that can't work. The material universe has rules. It's like a game. It's, well, it's an evil game, but it's set up in such a way that as we're experiencing it from our physical bodies, we're extremely limited in what we can do. And although there are glitches in the system and the system seems to be able to be hacked <clears throat> by some people, at some limited level it has these boundaries now of course the alchemists were never able to convert base metals into gold but the um, the thing is that it was like a proto science uh, it eventually led into uh, or it's attributed to leading into modern day chemistry which is an actual science of material things and um, the problem is that um, the alchemists back then, they couldn't see how they were wrong about things. The transhumanists and AI people can't see how they're wrong about things today. <clears throat> they, um, AI is a bit different than transhumanism, but uh, in AI, the, uh, I just want to say up front, I understand computer coding. I've done it myself and I, I love working with computers the um, that I'm sure that with enough people and enough effort 
they can make an algorithm that will, <clears throat> for a time at least, pass the Turing test or whatever. The algorithm, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> the algorithm would have to um, be complex enough to deal with inputs from humans and be able to respond in a way that makes it even have like a personality. And people love to attribute like personalities to machinery uh, in science fiction. You know, you have your R2-D2 and your C-3PO and in other sci-fi, even going back to the for early sci-fi, like Lost in Space, you have the robot. And Forbidden Planet, you got Robbie the robot. And um, we love to attribute like some type of personality. And there's no doubt that with enough effort, an algorithm could be made that would make like Iron Man's Jarvis. It would have a sort of a pseudo personality. That is not consciousness, however. Uh, that is even the illusion of consciousness that materialists believe that humans have. This is just a complicated algorithm that could potentially, for a short time, fool people. But again, just like any AI, uh, people have a way of finding the little things that the algorithm doesn't have and work around it, hack it, figure out that it's not real. Um, it will never have imagination it will never have the qualities of consciousness like we do, or even animals, or even probably a dog or a cat. So the whole thing is that they're toiling, toiling away at trying to make matter in conscious, when consciousness is actually making matter. Now, <clears throat> for anybody that doubts that scientists can be that arrogant and that wrong, uh, there is this great example here from the 1800s. Ignaz Semmelweis was a doctor that <clears throat> dared to say that other doctors, that doctors in general, should wash hands before dealing with maternity patients and in general maybe wash hands all the time. Now, of course, today we know how correct he was, but uh, he was ridiculed as a fool back then and um, he was literally killed by irony as this girl here explains in this video it was a shame what happened to him but these people today like Kurzweil Krauss even this guy here who pretends to be a scientist um, these people are the same kind of people that criticized this guy back then. When I tell, uh, when I would, if I were to tell this guy here, Krauss, that consciousness is not produced by the brain, um, you will see a level of, you know, I've seen him in interviews, I've watched some of his presentations. Uh, the interesting thing about materialists is that they're so arrogant. Uh, because they they believe that they're the rational ones in the room. They they firmly believe that they figured this out. Forget about all the totality of evidence about consciousness. Forget about um, the fact that they demand that materialistic science measure the non-material. Uh, all the evidence from near-death experiences. Uh, all the evidence from UFO abduction events. And people like John Mack, who was a Harvard psychiatrist who almost got fired when he came out and said hey these people are not hallucinating after he was a skeptic a genuine skeptic who looked at the problem but then changed his mind about being skeptical about it and uh, so they can make their great voices and theorize about their simulation realities and all this other stuff but they are just wrong the totality of evidence speaks for itself the greatest problem humanity has potentially to overcome, and if you're interested in researching this and you're kind of new to my channel, uh, go to the overwatchproject.com before I forget, and uh, go into the uh, link section, and especially like uh, the Dean Radin, Sheldrake.org, Quantum Consciousness, 
the Division of Perceptual Studies from University of Virginia, a ton of information there. Um, uh, there's uh, a lot of links here in the top under Intel and study links. All the information that you would need to uh, question this if you were stuck on materialism, but were honestly skeptical and not cynical, not pseudo-skeptical, that's where to go. But the biggest problem is this cognitive filtering thing that we've got going on, which um, these biases that are built in, I believe, to the brain, and in case you're kind of new to all this, I believe that all the evidence and data allowed to speak for itself if I'm, if you're not emotionally attached to something, if you just let, even if it emotionally disturbs you, if you just look at all the data and evidence, in one sense they're the they're right. It is a matrix reality, and it's not benevolent. It's um, some kind of prison system that we're in, or uh, maybe we're being farmed for energy or something like that. Our spirits are literally trapped in these biological bodies that. Uh, we recycle by reincarnation back here. It's not for any learning purpose or anything like that. It's, it's a nefarious thing. We don't remember. We get blanked out each time. We're here for a very short time, 100 years, usually max. Um, and, and then we have to do this all over again. Unless you figure it out, of course, uh, a lot of these Eastern religions, it's all about breaking the cycle of reincarnation. And perhaps... That is the only way out of here. I'm, uh, you know, a lot of things to explore with that. But I just wanted to cover this thing about AI and transhumanism. Seeing as how they're working backward, um, you know, you can see how their machinery, again, in other videos I show how the Book of Revelation is a bunch of bullshit also. It's just this never-ending circle for people to get caught up in. It doesn't really go anywhere. It just keeps us in the system. The system uh, is designed to give you things to toil away at, keep you busy while you're here. <clears throat> anyway, that's my video for today. AI and transhumanism, the new alchemy for the fools and ignorant. <laughs> See you later. Take care. Uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.